Hey guys, how's it going? It's like Pocket, and today I'm gonna show you how to make your Android device look like iOS 10. So let's get started. So first of all, happy new year to anyone out there watching this video. And I have to point out I have done this video four times, but the issue were that that I have I still receive lots of questions about the apps, and some apps are not existing in the Google Play Store anymore. So I. I just need to do some updates and uh, where to find the apps and uh, which apps you should use and and in the way it's uh, really up to you which apps you should use but in in this video I'm gonna show you how to make it the closest look how to make Android look the closest to iOS 10 so on this side I have my iPhone so um, I can show you how this look like and I will try to make it the same look with my iPhone. This is iOS 10 and I will try to make Android iOS 10 as well. Before that, any any app that you need to download outside Google Play Store will be down in the description. And also the titles of the apps are also down in the description. Okay, so now it's time to start. So these are all the apps that I have downloaded. I'm gonna show you all of the apps pretty much and how to use them and what they are. Okay, so first as I always do is iLauncher. Launcher unfortunately is not on the Google Play Store uh, anymore and I really still like this launcher because it makes uh, it makes your own device the closest look with the uh, with an iOS device and before even continuing I need we need to make the iLauncher as the default launcher so first hold down the power button click on task manager and then go to defaults and then clear your current launcher click on home button select iLauncher Click on home button again and set iLauncher as home, set always. Okay, and now if you press home button, it doesn't navigate it to the previous launcher. Okay, so now we're ready to customize the icon. So as you can see on my iPhone device, the icons are a bit, are um, these are the icons that are used in the titles, but on your Apple device, up under device, sorry, your icons might be different because I have already customized my icons on the Android device. So we're going to use an example app, this one. We're going to try to change the icon and the titles to show you how the process is done. So before that, we need to find the icon that matches the iOS icon right here. So we're going to Safari for that. We're going to the web browser. And here type iOS 10 phone icon. Then go to images and find the icon that matches with the, the with the phone application so this is the icon so you hold down it and then click on save and then and, and it should download it to your um, gallery and then hold the app that you wish to change the icon press on it click on change icon and that should open your um, your uh, photos application or whatever it's called, called Click on the download, so wherever the app, the icon should be downloaded. Click on it, find the download image, and, I, and then it should change the icon. Okay, so now we're going to change the title. So because the title is already found, I don't really need to change the title, but if you, for example, do it on Safari or on, um, or on Gallery or whatever it is, just change the title to the title which matches the iPhone icon or the iPhone app. And then click OK. And also bear in mind that if you click on the X, it should delete your app. And also, you can create folders by, ten, by dragging the app and place it on the top of one other. And then you can even name the, name the folder to whatever you want. Okay, and now let's have a look on the preferences of iLancer. So you can go to personalization and change the wallpaper to your favorite one. You can go to the internet and download your favorite wallpaper. Next, you can enable fifth row so you can have an extra layer of apps. Next, you can play around with the settings to find the best settings that you would like. I prefer low quality animation as makes uh, the iLauncher faster. You can exit iLauncher anytime that you want. So you are not uh, locked forever with iLauncher, you can go back to your previous launcher. Okay, so now we're going to have a look on the other apps as well. By the way, before I uh, forgot to point out that you need to disable um, unknown sources. So you need to go to settings, go to more, go to security, and find unknown sources. Make sure it's enabled so that will allow you to download applications, 
outside the Google Play Store. So if you might have trouble downloading a launcher, this should be the reason why it didn't download. Okay, so now we're ready to have a look on the lock screens. So first of all, you need to go and disable your current lock screen. So go to settings and then go to my device or wherever lock screen is located. Click on lock screen, set lock screen as to none. That will disable your current long lock screen so that way we can add our own lock screen. So go and download iLock screen iOS 10 style. I think this is how it's called. This is my one of my favorite, but it's a bit fiddly, it doesn't work all the time. So once you click on it, you should go and enable the app and then notification access go ahead and find iLock lock screen iOS 10 style click OK then you can go back and we're going to try and enable it then I'm going to set a pin so 5062 again ok so that will do it so now I'm going to test it out to see if it works. So it does work and if you swipe to the left it's going to activate camera. So if you, have, if you swipe to the right it will unlock your phone. And there you have it. Okay, so next we're going to enable the notification bar slide down. So, so for that I'm going to use iNoti. iNoti is down in the description to download because it's an app outside Google Play Store. So we're not going to click on it. Enable iNoti. And before that, I'm going to customize career name. So you can change the customize the career name to whatever you want. I have changed to version just for this purpose of the video. So then if you swipe down, you should see all the notifications. So you need to go now to all and then change and then go to accessibility to enable iNote to receive notifications. So now if you swipe down, you should see all the notifications here. Next, we are going to enable the, the these settings that you swipe up. So for that I have downloaded two apps, iControl and Control Center. But the problem with these apps is that, I'm going to show you right now, is that the layout is completely different than the iOS one. As you can see here, it's completely different, but we want to make it the closest with the iOS device. So we're going to disable the service. And we are going to iNoti, so this is a new app from the Google Play Store. And I'm not going to click on Enable iNoti Phone. So I'm going to enable iNoti from Notification Access. Okay, so now I'm going to enable Control Smart. And that should uh, appear a small bar on the bottom. And now as you can see, if I swap up, the notifications looks very similar to the iPhone. Also, you have nice shift which I'm very surprised and even works. So it turns the screen into a yellowish. And then if you swipe down, you also have this notification center. So you can view all of your notifications here. So sometimes it doesn't really work, and this is because because the app is a bit buggy. So I hope the developer is going to fix that very soon. And yeah. So you can have a look on uh, two more apps maybe, which is Messenger, iOS 9 and Phone. So these are very, very similar apps to the Messages and Phone. So the layout is very, very similar. So these are free from Google Play Store for you to download. And will uh, we'll display all of your uh, missed calls and all of your calls. But I'm not going to open the messages because I have already sent messages using this app. And it's entirely up to you, but again, you can you have to change the icon as I showed you previously and the title to make it more real with the iOS device. And then you can have a look on the Kika Keyboard Pro. This is a free keyboard from Google Play Store. And again, you go to enable Kika Emoji Pro keyboard by following the uh, the instructions here, so this is the keyboard then switch to Kika Pro so we're gonna switch from classic to Kika and then I go back and test it out go to Safari and this is how the keyboard looks like it's more 
it's closer to the current iOS device keyboard so I'm gonna show the keyboard how it looks like but again I have got a separate video which explains you how to add also better emojis to it okay so that was the video for the guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure to, to smash the like button comment below to let me know what you think about this video share this video to your friends if you find this helpful and make sure to subscribe to watch more videos like that thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in my next video